Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 883. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video here, we have a database and we need to look up records. But this template, sometimes a person will be entering in a number, an ID, and they need the correct record. Or if they don't enter an ID, they want to enter the name and get still the correct record. So really this is a lookup situation where the lookup value is one thing or another. Now I'm going to add, whoops, control Z. I'm going to add some data validation here so that I make sure that I only get the ID numbers from that column or the names from this column. Alt D L tab allow value. I want a list so I'm going to type L tab Click OK. So that's going to add a drop down. So now I can select what I want. And then here I'm going to go Alt D L Tab L Tab and then Enter. All right, so the situation is there's never going to be two. You're going to have one or the other. So we'll start with uh, 120 here. And we'll build our formula. Now we're going to have to. Uh, we're going to do two kinds of formulas. One, I'm going to extract the records going horizontally and then vertically. Here, I'm going to use the index match and choose function. Here, I'll use VLOOKUP and choose. The cool thing about the choose function is the choose can let us choose different formulas because we're going to have to, in essence, run two formulas, one to look up this or one to look up this. So let's start here. Let's just look at index. Index is a lookup function. You tell it what array or range has the values where you want to look up. I'm going to highlight email. Now notice email, phone, department, relative cell references, the dancing ants are moving. When I copy this formula over to this phone cell, the dancing ants will move. So that's the lookup range, comma. Now normally we use a match here and we say, hey, match, go look up this. It'll tell us the position one and then we'll know to extract this uh, record here but we have one of two matches. So we're going to use choose. We have to choose between one match or the other. Now, we have to think of a trigger because choose needs an index number. We're going to say one if we're going to use the match to look up this in this column, or two, meaning the index number has to be one or two, if I'm going to use this value and get the position for looking up the record from this column. So I'm going to say, hey, anytime that cell is equal to blank, double quote, double quote. Now what this says is it's a true, false, logical formula. If I highlight this and hit the F9 key, right now it's false, right, because there's something there. But guess what? If I really need a 1 in the index number when there's something there, I'm going to Control Z, I'm going to add 1. Right now it'll say 0 plus 1. I'm going to hit F9. OK, so that's the 1. That's the index number. And then the value right here will put the right match to look up this, Control Z. However, when I delete the content of this cell and decide, instead put something here, that cell will be blank. So this little part will be true. When I add 1 to true, it'll give me 2. Actually, let's just check this out just for kicks, just to see if this works. I'm um, put a space there to suspend the formula, deleted that, F9, and now that gives me the 2. So that index, that's what choose needs. Choose looks up 1, 2, 3, 4, and then delivers whatever you put it put into the choose. So I'm going to control Z, backspace. I guess it doesn't matter that I left it blank there for a moment. All right, so that's the trigger, comma, and then the rest of it, the value 1 is going to be our first match. I'm looking up this. F4, I, I better lock this too. I'm going to hit F4. OK, so lookup value, comma, please look at the numbers within this range here, F4, comma, 0, because they're not sorted. So that's the first match. Right now, with 120, it'll give me position 1. There's the value 1, comma, and then the second value. I'm going to look up this one, F4 within this range right here. And then there's the value 2 for choose. I'm going to close off the choose. That'll give me the row number. Close off the index. 
Okay, so if I change this to 195, it better be giving me the fill stuff. If I delete this and then come over here, Sue, and then it has Sue. Let's try Fam. So it's getting Fam now. When we delete here, if you don't like those NAs, we can uh, in 2000 and I'm going to copy this whole thing. Copy in 2007 or later, you just use the if error. Hey, that's the value. If it's an error, comma double quote. So I'm going to do a 120, right? And then in earlier versions, if um, you didn't have if error, so 2003 or earlier, you could use the if function. And I'm going to use for the logical test count a. Uh. Count a uh, counts if the cells are empty. So when it's empty, that means it's a 0, right? Count a uh will give me a 1. So 1 will correspond to true, or the if function will understand it as true. So when it's true, control V. That's the value of true, comma, otherwise, double quote. All right, so if I delete this and come over here, oops. I guess I didn't lock the counter F4. F4. I got my fingers crossed. All right, and so I let me try Sue, and then there we go. Now, vertically, uh, we can't use that cool match trick right there where the cell references move. So we'll just use uh, two, two VLOOKUPs. And you certainly, if you feel more comfortable with the VLOOKUP, that would be the way to go there. So equals, and I'm just going to flat out do choose and choose between two VLOOKUPs. I do the same thing. I'm going to say open parentheses this F4 equals blank plus 1. If that comes out to be 1, then the first value for choose is going to be VLOOKUP. F4 comma within, and since it's the ID, I have to have that column as the first column, F4. And then I want this to increment as I go down, column 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to use rows. I'm sitting in B dollar, B14. So B dollar sign 14. The rows will give us the number 1, 2, 3, 4 as I copy down. And I need 3, 4, so I'll add 2. That's the column index that tells us which column to pull from as we're copying down comma and then the uh, match the range lookup is zero because we're doing it in the exact lookup all right that's value one I'm actually going to copy this because I'm such a bad typer value one for choose comma and then value two I'm going to control V and very carefully change this to B and change this to B. And since rows, right now, since that's the first column of the VLOOKUP, it needs to be 2, 3, 4 as we go down. So we'll just go like that. And then you do the same. Oh, that's date. So I'm going to point to this and say fill without formatting. That's off the screen. And then we'll use if error. If this works here, fill. It pulls fills. If I come over here and so one or the other, and of course, if you're in uh, earlier versions, then you use that same counter trick. All right, uh, look up or using index choose match or index choose uh, v lookup choose. All right, see you next trick.